it's Feline again from Six Blue Warriors. So it's been a little while since I've recorded my last video, but I'm excited to be back uh, and doing another one. The topic that I wanted to talk about today is child safety locks kind of things. Now, many of us have tried, you know, have problems with a kid who is just super brilliant and can undo any child lock that's out there. Um, but they still need to be kept safe. <laughs> and a lot of times, and in our case, our child who was an expert at figuring out child safety locks was the one who was also the wanderer or the runner or the bolter or whatever you want to call it, where they'll just take off and you just don't even know how to find them. So, um, we had to come up with some different ways to help make things work to keep him safe. So, one of the things that we started out with at the very beginning is these little door handle things like this. So our son, Aiden, he could pop this off in about three seconds. They worked for about an hour until he figured out how they worked. And the problem is, is that he figured out that if we just attach this to the door, that he just had to put his weight on it in the right way and he'd hang on it and it would pop right off. So... Um, we're like, well, these things are stupid. These are useless. <laughs> so we decided we weren't going to use them anymore. But then we're like, mm, after he escaped another time, we decided that, okay, well, let's give those a shot again. So what we did is we put this on the door the way it's supposed to be. Okay. No modifications or anything like that. But then the thing that made it work was we took a piece of tape and you can see the seam right here along the edge. Hopefully you can see it. The seam, yeah. And we put tape across the seams like this. Okay, so the seam is running this way and the tape is going across this way. And we put it all the way up the seam and we put it down here and we put it all along the other side. And because we did that, um, <clears throat> he could hang on it all day long and it didn't pop off anymore. It just made it so that he is very smart. He's very capable and he knows that it should be able to work if he does this way, but it no longer did because he didn't have enough weight. And the other thing that was nice about the tape is that it, we used clear tape, so he couldn't really tell that it was even on there in the beginning. And then after a while, he just got so used to, the fact that he couldn't open it, that he didn't even stop to look at it anymore. So when the tape became more visible, uh, because, you know, use with the door and it got dirty, things like that, um, he didn't even bother using the door locks anymore, uh, trying to break them off. So that was a huge lifesaver for us. We went and put these on all the doorknobs all over again, and we put the tape on, and it worked for years. Years and years. Like, we still... We took them off the doors because we didn't need them so much anymore. But then we had our two-year-old and so I put them back on the door. He was also able to pop them off. So I pulled out my trusty tape, <laughs> put it on, works great. So this is one thing that makes, you know, you can buy these at the store. I think I got these at Walmart or something like that. They were two of them for like, I want to say like, I think don't think they were more than a dollar a piece. Okay. So these were really helpful. We put them on all the doors that we could. Um, then the next thing that we used a lot was curtain tension rods. So things like windows, sliding doors, um, just different things like that. We would actually hide the tension rods down in the track on the bottom. So that way the door couldn't be pulled open. But we also hid one in the top of the windowsill. So that way, even if they did figure out that there was the tension rod in the bottom of the windowsill um, and pulled it out, there was still the one up on top uh, as a safety measure so that they still couldn't open up the window. Um, the other thing that we did find as well is that at Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that, there are these little window locks that you can get. You have to use an Allen wrench, which is the little L-shaped tool, um, to clip it onto the windowsill, the, the little runner. 
and then you tighten it with the Allen wrench and it allows the window to be open. So if you would like to be able to let air get through or ventilation or just anything like that, um, you can do that and the window can be open, but it can't be open past where this little thing attaches to it. And it was fantastic. So that way, you know, it was hot during the summer. I could open the window, but I actually even took my son's head when I was measuring how far I wanted to have the window open. Um, and I put it to a way and I was like, okay, see if you can fit your head through here. And he's like, nope, can't, you know, like I measured his head. <laughs> to make sure that the window was open wide enough as it could be, but not going to be any wider than his head was going to be able to fit through. Because if they can't fit their head through, they can't get in all the way or all the way in or out. That head's got to be able to fit through there. Oh, and this is the last one that I've recommended to a lot of my friends uh, and that I heard from somebody else, but at the dollar store, there are little uh, door alarms that you can buy from the dollar store, so not very expensive, and you attach them to your door, and then if the door is opened, there's this huge loud sound that from the bell. Someone's like, it's like 100 decibels or something like that, really loud sound. And that is great because if your child goes out the front door and gets past all the other child safety locks that you use, at least you've got this loud sound that's going to warn you that your child has opened the front door. The other thing that somebody, one of my friends used it for was training her daughter to stay in her room at night, you know, that they put her to bed and she needed to stay there. So they actually put one on her bedroom door as well. So that way they knew if she ever left her bedroom and in addition to any other doors that leave the house, I mean, it's going to depend on your child and what you need, but those are some really inexpensive ways to help make things so much more secure and just give you that peace of mind so that you can try and sleep at night because when you're worried that your child's going to escape the house or your room if you ever take your eyes off them ever <laughs> it's really hard to not be super stressed out all the time if that's what you're dealing with so hopefully those tips can help make your life a little bit easier and if you've got any questions or comments feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I've loved being able to hear from you guys and just to see uh, how many people are watching the videos. And I keep thinking to myself, I hope that's just one more person that they've made their life has gotten just that much easier. So have a great rest of your day and we will talk to you again soon. Bye.